Good morning. Today is Monday, September 16th, 2013. It's about 10:15 uh, in the morning. And today is day 10 of my sugar withdrawal program, the T-30 method. So 20 days left, T-20. Um, so this drink now has um, 10 and a half uh, teaspoons of sugar. And I can't figure out how many grams that is right now. But anyway, 10 and a half teaspoons of sugar. And let me just take a sip. Still sweet. Um, everything's going according to plan. No problems. Um, yesterday, I actually hardly drank it at all. I was out and about all day. So I had almost the full drink at the end of the night. And I, then again, I was deciding, well, should I just pitch it or drink it? And I went ahead and just drank the whole drink at the end uh, after dinner. And that was a bit of... Um, it was a little bit too much sugar, I think, at once. And um, I think I mentioned in my caffeine withdrawal videos that I have acid reflux, and that's what I kicked that up last night. So um, that just sort of confirms, for me at least, the link between sugar and acid reflux. And I'm hoping one of the benefits of this program will be I'll also uh, help mitigate that by cutting sugar. Um, but let's see, what else? Uh, also, I noticed I weighed myself this morning. I weighed 195 this morning. So I started off around 200. So I've lost about five pounds, but I wouldn't say that's significant. I tend to, um, in the last 10 or 15 years, I've tended to be between like 195 and 205. And as high as 210, when I get to 210, I really just have to do something, but anything between 195 and 205, I don't necessarily consider significant, but I, I think I'm on the lower bound of it. So um, to me, that's a good sign. And I do think I'm going to start losing weight pretty soon. I have that sense. If I hit 190 or below, I mean, that's, that's significant because that rarely happens for me. Um, also, in terms of carbohydrates, I like yesterday, I'm not really cutting back on carbs other than sugar. Um, I, actually, I am a little bit, but not militantly or anything. Um, so yesterday I had a sandwich with a Italian roll on it, and I actually had macaroni and cheese last night. So I actually had quite a bit of carbs yesterday. Although I am trying to minimize them a little bit. It's not going to be the main focus uh, of this series. Um, also, I got a book at the library, um, Salt, Sugar, and Fat. This is a 2013 book, so it's a relatively new book, or it's a brand new book, by a guy, Michael Moss, who is a Pulitzer Prize winner. So I'll try to do a review of this in the coming days. Although this is, my series is concentrating on sugar, I guess he's talking about how the food giants are using all three of these things to make their food taste better or be more palatable to customers at the expense of nutrition and obesity, I guess. The first chapter is on sugar, so I'll go over that, but I may go over the other chapters also. Also, I'm gonna to try to read more recent books because, as I said in previous videos, the sugar story has changed significantly in just the last four or five years um, with this new theory that essentially it's concentrated fructose, which is found in sugar and high fructose corn syrup. That's the main problem. Um, more so than foods with high glycemic index or that convert, you know, that cause sugar uh, glucose spikes and insulin spikes. That may still be a problem, but the new theory is that fructose, concentrated fructose is the problem, which is why I'm concentrating mostly on, on just uh, minimizing um, refined sugars and high fructose corn syrup rather than cutting out carbs. Uh, so I'm going to try to read the more re recent books. Let me just take another sip of this. Uh, 
So I'm about a few days away from the American Heart Association recommends nine teaspoons of sugar a day as the um, recommended added sugar. So I'm a few days from there and then I will be, you know, at what they recommend and, and trying to actually get below that and supplementing it with fruit. And I'm still, this is about half, the average consumer, as I mentioned before, uh, consumes 22 teaspoons of sugar. So I'm still, although I'm ingesting more sugar than you're supposed to, I'm ingesting half of what the typical consumer um, eats or drinks, which may explain, explain sort of my weight loss, even though I'm having more sugar than, I, than I'm supposed to have. So that's about it for today. The program's going good. It's not a hard program at all, really. Um, compared to caffeine, it's quite easy. So far it has been. And so that's it. So today is day 10 of my sugar withdrawal program. And thanks for watching.